Allow their eyes to hear the sound of your the heart's instrument and know without each other there would be no music to thank you for stopping by at my channel and coming to visit me today <laughs> don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe button uh, hit the bell notifier so that you know when the goddess will be uploading more of these videos okay as if you like my videos my darling my sweet my my <laughs> earth signs we will be utilizing the tarot Cleopatra tarot today as well as the love oracle cards number one okay <clears throat> and we certainly will be going into the order previously mentioned uh, we will begin with you Kathy <laughs> hey Capricorn well how you doing mommy and what's going on with your daddy Capricorn Listen, I'm going to need you to tell the goddess <laughs> who you want to pour your storm of passion onto, my darling, <laughs> or who you want to pour their storm of passion onto you, or who is doing that. Hmm? I think that was three or four shuffles. <laughs> All right, my honey. Well, let's see what's going on with you, Cappy. Uh -uh. All right, you ready? Let's go. Who is the object of your affection, Capricorn? Who is this person? Your four of wands. <laughs> your twin soul. Twin ray, twin flame. <laughs> Is that right, my darling? Okay, okay, that's fine. So the object of your affection and who you want to pour your passion and storm of passion, that is, <laughs> onto is your twin flame, Capricorn. Wow. Okay, honey. Well, let's see what else she's saying. Uh, okay, okay. Mm. Now here is the knave. Was that the knight? That's the knight. The light is not too bright in here. <laughs> Y'all know I need glasses. <laughs> that is the knight of, of pentacles. Okay, Capricorn. Now, the knight of pentacles, he, you know, um, he wants to be useful. He wants to do things that are... Uh, worth his time okay and worth his effort so he takes his time to do whatever it is that he's doing okay and that is certainly your energy capricorn you stepped on the scene with with your energy okay <laughs> so what is this saying to me is that you are taking your time pouring that storm of passion onto your twin soul or it could be saying that you 
uh, haven't done this yet <laughs> because of, you know, you have your reasons. You have your reasons why you're not putting forth any effort. Um, you have your reasons why you just slowed your row. You have your reasons, okay? This is your twin soul, but uh, there was something that they did or, or did not do that caused you to just slow it down. Don't mean you stopped it, my darling. It just means you have slowed down, okay? Right, Kathy. So you want me to take that one too, my darling? <laughs> All right, my sweet. You gave me three cards, which means I cannot take this one. <laughs> I only take two at the most. All right, Capricorn. Here we have the Knight of Wands, another knight, and the Knave of Wands. Hmm. Well, this is someone who you're very passionate about. <laughs> My goodness, there's a wand energy out here. Okay. Hmm. So perhaps it is the message, okay? The message of love that you have continued, that you have stopped, okay? That you just do not want to continue on at this particular moment and the speed that you were moving, okay? And... Uh, the message that you want to give to this person, like I said, has just completely slowed down. All right. <laughs> now here's the, um, the Knight of Wands. Okay. I will put that on the two, the four of, uh, the four of, um, wands. My goodness. So much wand and passion out here. <laughs> so much fire you brought okay cappy well yeah okay that's saying that um this person is an in and out energy your 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 twin soul your twin flame is an in and out energy somebody who comes into your life very passionately and really just burns you up melts you completely down with the wand okay and it's like um <clears throat> They're just too in and out, and that basically is the reason why you slow the row, you slow down your messages of passion, you slow down everything, okay? Because you, you don't know if you even want to put effort into this. This is your twin soul, Kathy. What do you mean you don't want to put effort into the twin soul? Hmm. I don't read reversals, y'all. This is the chariot. Oh, my goodness. Well, check you out, Capricorn. <laughs> now you want to speed up, okay? Oh, and, and, and what exactly do you want to speed up and be victorious towards, my darling? Is it the message you rather... Let's see, what is this? The two of swords. Capricorn, what, what are you saying, my honey? What are you saying, honey? Now, uh, <laughs> the two of swords is fighting your, your higher and lower self. Uh, so you're fighting your higher or lower self to send this message to someone who you want to be triumphant with, who you want to stop being so slow, putting forth an effort towards, okay, and time towards. Okay, that, that's basically what's going on. You are in conflict about it. What? You want to bring the two of swords out? Why are you in conflict, Capricorn? What's the matter, baby? Tell the goddess. What's the matter, Capricorn? <laughs> in conflict. For what? In conflict for what, baby? Judgment. Oh. Well, <clears throat> someone has issued their final judgment. Or is about to issue a final judgment on the person who is their twin soul, who is in and out of their life. The, uh, you know. Okay, my goodness, my darling. <laughs> what is the judgment, mm, Capricorn? What are you talking about? The high priestess, Capricorn. You are all over the place. You're all over the place. 
Okay, copy. Bring it back in. Reel it in and, and, and make it, <laughs> make it, uh, make it something so that the goddess overstands, okay? Because what you're saying is, is carrying a lot of meanings here and it's scattered. Now, uh, it looked like in this role, you're saying that you know how to be victorious, uh, and holding off your energy and your effort towards someone okay or it's saying that you were holding off and holding back but now you're coming straight out towards them and the high priestess amon tet is the one that is assisting you with this telling you exactly what moves you need to make to come out of stagnancy perhaps you could be saying that is that what you're saying, Cappy? Hmm? Is that what you're saying, Capricorn? And what else? And what else you got to say? And, and, and what's this? This is the moon. Okay, well, we have um, things that are moving in the dark, secrets. Uh, so you're keeping it to yourself, Capricorn. Um, or being on the two of swords, you're saying that you're fighting with your higher and lower self because the moon is enemies that we see and enemies that we do not see. So those beings that you do not see are fighting right now. Well, your, your lower self is your physical self. Your higher self is your ethereal self. So uh, the one that is seen is the physical. The one that is unseen is the ethereal. Okay, so... That's the being that you're fighting with, okay? And one of you is the enemy to the other because this is the moon energy. This is also talking about mistakes made due to a person's imagination, okay? Not things that are factual and and real, okay, is imagined. So it could be that you are fighting with your higher lower self about sending a message to someone full of passion, your twin soul, uh, but you are not doing that right now because you are too busy fighting yourself, Capricorn. Is that it, my darling, my sweet, my honey, my, my, hmm, that's what's going on? Well, <clears throat> the judgment here is also a renewal, Capi. It's a renewal, too of your twin soul it's a renewal of the relationship between you and your twin soul okay or you've issued judgment against this person your twin soul that you don't want them in your life capricorn maybe because of their moodiness that's what the moon energy is someone who's very moody someone who you know acts like they they don't, they don't know how to control themselves, you know, the things that they say, the things that come out of their mouth, okay, is, is something that you just don't like at all, and it causes you to be in conflict, hmm, with your higher and lower self, hmm, perhaps this person who is speaking like this out of their mouth is you, Capricorn. I mean, it is your higher and lower self that you're fighting, my dog. Okay? So your higher self is telling you to send the message. <laughs> your lower self is saying, oh, no. I cannot do this. No, I will not. I will be triumphant because I know with the high priestess that if I am triumphant with, with, with holding back and, and being stagnant, that, you know, I will succeed. Well, my darling, you will succeed in, in getting an, a uh, reaction because every action has a reaction. So your inaction is also an action and will, will, cause, and will cause a reaction. The reaction from your twin soul is perhaps to... Just go ahead and, 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 and walk away from you, my darling, or vice versa. If that's what they're doing, they're in action. The uh, moon energy is also someone who is afraid. You know, they're probably in fear about sending a message towards you. Hmm. Tell me, Mom, Capricorn. 
this person is afraid of you <clears throat> is afraid of their love for you girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun so capricorn you've decided not to deal with your twin soul you have you you are happily single that is your judgment who moving on wow capricorn is that right mommy i say mommy because that's girl talk mm. and males can be just as nurturing as females so they can be called mommies too <laughs> okay here is the the phoenix oh come on capricorn bring it bring it baby a new phase rekindle um renew transformation growth changed mind oh <clears throat> what well, is that right capricorn did you change your mind my love are you changing your mind from being stagnant <laughs> is that what's happening you're rising from the phoenix you've been happily single now you're rising from the phoenix i mean rising like the phoenix <laughs> oh my goodness what in the world breakup separation stop the pattern silent treatment and abandonment oh capricorn yes there's a pattern that needs to stop here with the moon energy and the two of swords okay there's a pattern that you need to stop where you give someone the silent treatment and abandon them or someone has abandoned you baby and um you went ahead and just was happily single say the heck with it but now you apparently are changing your mind so in the future uh you might just go ahead and send this message baby <laughs> you might just go ahead and send that message huh capricorn look at you mm -hmm. having your girl talk rising like the phoenix now you want to fix it <laughs> now you want to fix it huh mommy mm. look at you mm -mm -mm. well would you why was it messed up anyway capricorn why was it messed up anyway <laughs> what happened all right i just wanted to mix up the cards a little bit I know I shuffle them at least a hundred times. <laughs> you ever get like, <laughs> Kathy, you ever get like when you're shuffling the cards, you get like addicted? <laughs> you know, you just keep shuffling and shuffling. You could be watching something. You could be listening to some music. You could be doing anything. And you got the cards in your hand and just shuffle and shuffle and shuffle. <laughs> I find myself doing that a lot with all of my decks. You know, I just put them in my hand up. So I can feel the energy, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway, Capricorn, good luck, my sweet, my darling, my honey. Good luck, honey, okay? I hope you come out of that um, stagnancy and moon energy. And express yourself and express your love, my darling. Taurus. My lovely Taurus. Are you next, my darling? <laughs> well, come on then. <laughs> Taurus, open yourself up and tell the goddess who you want to pour your storm of passion onto. Hmm? Who you want someone to pour that onto you, my darling? And who is doing that? Hmm? Is that you or your person, Taurus? <laughs> Reveal. Hmm? Tell the goddess. I think that one wanted to come out. Okay, you're going to give me these. Um, wait a second. No, 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 no. We're going to have to start that again. You know, those two cards, I wasn't feeling them. Sorry. <laughs> and then there was another card that turned. All right. So, come on, Taurus. Oh, are you going to the part where I put them cards? <laughs> You know that we reverse this? Oh, the Ten of Wands. Are you going to express it then? Okay. <laughs> oh, I wanted happiness for you, Taurus, but the cards is going to say what the heck the cards say. 
<laughs> now, Taurus, this is somebody. <laughs> this is somebody who is um reached the peak of fighting they're, they're they feel oppressed and, and overly tired and you know they just don't want to deal with um with uh the things that are going on in their life you know they just uh it's a burden they have a heavy burden that they're bearing taurus what is the burden my love what is this burden you're talking about i said who you want to pour your storms of passion on that's what I said, baby. And, and what are you doing then? What, what is that? The three of pentacles. So we're talking about teamwork. We're talking about someone putting forth the effort to be a team player with you. To perhaps carry some of the burden that uh, you have. Okay, you have a lot of burden on your back. And you want someone to take some of the load. Oh. Mm. Can't build it all by yourself, Taurus. Now can you? Mm -mm. No, baby. What else you gotta say? Uh, okay, Taurus. Now you know better. You know better. You tried to have this card come out, so we're gonna leave that card out right there. But I'm not taking all three of these cards. <laughs> no, baby. All right. Here is the divine will of destiny. They tried to come out for you in the beginning. <laughs> but I wanted a, a loving, romantic, and passionate reading because I am the love goddess. Hat Tat Horar Tat is Hat Har, <laughs> who is the love goddess. You know, I've taken on that, uh, that uh, energy. Okay. <laughs> and I was also born in, in the month of the sacred goddess. Now, um, the divine will of destiny states. Uh, Or perhaps for some time, this has been going on, Taurus. You have been, you have been, you know, having to bear this whole thing by yourself, okay? And you're like, you don't want to do it anymore. Just tired, you know, it's like, or, or you feel that this is your karma to have to bear this burden yourself. To not get any teamwork, somebody, you know, not, not playing along, somebody, you know, not building the throne, not building the home. And, and, and uh, you're going to perhaps have to go through this for some time, my darling. Mm. Is that right, Taurus? Well, tell me more. Okay. This is death. Oh, yes. You want to bring an end to that daggone burden that you have, Taurus. Oh, yeah. You're ready to, you know, put that down. Put that burden down. Especially if someone is not going to be a team player with you, then, yeah, you're going to have to go ahead and put the burden down. Because you can't hold it all yourself, my darling. You cannot hold it all yourself. Now, I know you're strong strong as the bull goes okay but you cannot be expected to to build the foundation with the eight of uh pentacles you cannot be expected to build the home like i was saying before to build the throne to, to have something to build something that is going to be firm and stable okay if this person is not going to help you if they're not going to put forth any effort or, or any time or anything towards the, the union. I hope this we are talking about a union, are we not? Taurus, are we talking about something else? Are we talking about the building of the pentacle? Because you have a lot of pentacles out here, my darling. This is the third one. The knave of pentacles. Okay. Now, the knave of pentacles is uh, someone who is uh, bringing a message. Perhaps you got the message with the will of destiny that the universe is telling you that you need to come up with different ideas to get yourself out of this, Taurus. Okay, you have to be creative. You have to think and be creative with what it is that you're doing here, my darling. Okay, you cannot uh, stay in this rut. The, the, the wheel looks like it's turning for you. 
okay and it turning for you means that you know you're going to come up with all types of ways to put this burden down okay to end it this is the ancient e egyptian deity anubu as death and poo by the way uh here is the two of wands okay well you're anxious <laughs> you're anxious for it to end you know uh you're sad also that it had to end uh, the two of wands speaks of you're also waiting for it to end so it's like wow okay waiting for it to come to an end whoa <clears throat> here is the uh knight of chalices interesting called to pour out taurus what are you talking about here my love Apparently, it looks like you're talking about someone who you want to be intimate towards. Perhaps you are anxiously waiting for the uh, to move towards the person who you want to be intimate with, who you want to give a love offer to, because that's the chalice now coming out. Okay. Hmm. Quite possible. So you're, you're carrying a certain burden. You're not receiving any help with that burden. You've been doing it for some time. You're ready for it to end. You're ready for something more stable. So you're coming up with ideas. And one of the ideas is to move towards uh, someone in an intimate fashion, uh, an intimate way, perhaps someone from your past that you want to move towards. Who is this person, Taurus? Hmm? What can you tell me about them? <laughs> oh, you want to give me two cards, huh? Well, okay, she is, and he, or he is your Ten of Pentacles. Okay, here is the King of Chalices. Okay. Someone who has a lot of emotion on the inside of themselves. Someone who uh, is very, very uh, loving and very sensitive okay but they hold that in on the inside okay so your great idea is to move towards your lover perhaps not holding the love on the inside perhaps expressing that yeah that's it's time yeah okay that's what the the will of destiny is saying that it's time for you to come up with an idea to express your love, you know, because you're holding it in, Taurus. This person is your Ten of Pentacles. They are your family. It's your feminine you have on your mind here. Okay? You're here, and this is your feminine here. You have her on your mind a lot, Taurus. And you want to, uh, to give her an offer of love. Because it has been a burden, perhaps, to not be with your sacred feminine. You have been carrying things on your own, and it has been hard on you to carry these things for some time. But now the time has arrived, my darling, because Anubu is here to end the, the cycle of uh, <clears throat> um, burden, okay? And now it's time for something stable. Someone who is going to be a team player. Someone who is going to be a lover. Someone who will build with you. <clears throat> Taurus. I'm so sorry that you had to go through that ordeal. My love, this world is so hard on people okay especially those who just want to love you know it's it's a hard place Taurus and and sometimes people just take advantage of the fact that you want love and they they act like they love you but they don't they don't love you they love what you can do for them they love that you can hold all of those wands okay 
coming more to us. I love that you can hold all the burden of the whole thing on, on your shoulders. Okay? So they don't have to do anything. Soulmates. Okay. Soulmate contract, partnership, agreement. Soul contract. Okay. Well, I'm going to put that here. Okay, we're going to go this way instead. Uh, this person that you're holding the love in for, or you're coming up with ideas and how to express it and move towards her, is your soulmate. Someone who you have a soul contract with. Someone who you love. Someone who perhaps even loves you. The dragonfly. Be light-hearted, finding out things, coming to light, adapt, change, heal. So yes, you know you need to uh, come towards this person in a light-hearted manner. You know, not anything too heavy. Uh, you want to heal. You want to change the situation with this person who is a team player, who is stable with you. Okay, so be light-hearted and, and, you know... Bring things to the light about how you feel about this person. Tell them how much you love them, okay? Okay. The keys on a ring. Well, this means that um, this person that you've been holding a lot of the burden to bear was a person... Uh, that had many options and uh, strung you along. This was just a one night stand and now you are sad about that, Taurus. You're sad that you had one, a one night stand with someone and you're anxious to move away from that person because uh, you don't want to be an option to this person. You want to be all to this person because they will be all to you, right? Um, or you want it to be, but they weren't that. They weren't that. This person seems to be someone who you're dealing with now uh, or have dealt with in the past, that it was a burden to be with, that you ended it with, and are now anxious to move along, okay? Your soulmate. You're moving towards your soulmate now. Well, that's absolutely beautiful, Taurus. And once again, I'm so sorry you had to bear such a burden, my darling. That's not good. That's not good for somebody to have to bear everything themselves. I mean, people should be more team players and, uh, you know, doing the things that they need to do in order to, you know, make a relationship work. It's not just on the one person it's on both people you feel me taurus hmm well good luck my darling and returning to your soul mate much love to you virgo <laughs> is that you virgo for the waiting <laughs> well come on in my darling i mean tell me what it is that you or who it is, who do you want to pour your storms of passion onto, Virgo? Or who do you want to receive such passion from? Or who you are receiving or giving such passion to? And who is that? And, and, and what do they want? <laughs> oh, Virgo. <laughs> Come on, baby. I think I think that card wanted to come up with cards just trying to fly, but I'm catching them. <laughs> come on, Virgo. Mm. That daggone knife of of ones just keep coming out. And the and we just got finished seeing the eight of pentacles for Taurus. Okay, here is the knife of wands and the eight of pentacles, Virgo. The Knave of Wands, you want to send a message, a passionate message, 
someone trying to get someone's attention, Virgo. Hmm? Uh, someone who you want stability with, someone who you want to, someone who you have in mind to build something, to build a a beautiful, beautiful relationship with, <laughs> passionate, someone who will put in effort. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nave of Swords. Oh, Virgo, you're you're watching this person? Is is that what you're doing, my darling? Are you spying? <laughs> Are you spying waiting to, to shoot your arrow, Cupid's arrow you have in your hand? <laughs> and and you're waiting to, to shoot that arrow towards the object of your affection. I love it, Virgo. I love it. Mm. When you're watching them, huh? What are you watching them? <laughs> ah, you want to reap the fruits of some labor. <laughs> the seven of pentacles. Okay, well, that's what the message is all about, Virgo. <laughs> Or what some of the messages. We still have to uh, give another card there. But, okay, you want... The harvest of this person. You feel this person is so beautiful, so passionate. You just want to put so much effort and love and, and you know, <laughs> you just want to. Well, I don't see any of the, um, the chalices are yet. So I just say passion right now. Passion and effort, okay? Someone who you have put passion and effort towards. And you are ready to reap the fruits of that labor that you had done, Virgo. And that's nothing wrong with that. People putting in all this daggone energy and, and receiving absolutely nothing in return from the other person that claimed to be their lover. Okay. Oh, here's the lovers. Here's the lovers. <laughs> Didn't I just say the lovers? <laughs> yes, you want this person to choose and decide to be your lover, Virgo. And you have been watching them, but mentally in conflict while you're watching them. Perhaps this person is, uh, you know, very beautiful, okay? Very beautiful, very loving. Um, the Eight of Swords is someone who, no, the Sword, I'm sorry, forgive me, apologies. The Sword energy is someone who is uh, in their head, someone who's very intellectual, someone who's very, you know, airy, you know, they, they're like, you know, detached, you know, they just, it's an air energy. They're ethereal, you know, they're very spiritual. That's the person who, who you're who you're uh you're watching and you're in mental conflict about this person, perhaps because you perhaps don't know how to uh send such a message. Okay. My goodness, is that everybody coming out of quarantine wanting to rush towards their lovers but don't know how because it's been a while since they discussed each other anything or discussed with each other. I don't know, Virgo. All I know is that the goddess Hatet Horaitet is in her own world right now. <laughs> I'm in my own world and I'm just doing my thing, baby. You know. Okay, tell me more, Virgo. Oh, the magician. And the King of Swords. Oh, so you're going to have to work your magic because you want to reap a harvest with the King of Swords. Someone, someone who is very, like I said, intellectual. They are a complete and utter genius. This is the air energy. <laughs> uh, of course, the air energy would be genius. <laughs> But this king of swords, he, you know, when he utilizes the sword, that's it. 
They utilize the sword. That's it, Gem, uh, uh, Virgo. Mm, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. The Gemini tried to come straight out my mouth. <laughs> Here's the magician. Yes. You need to work your magic. Work your magic, Virgo. Work your magic. Yes, the King of Swords cut the cut it off. Ain't trying to deal with it no more. You want to reap the fruits of everything that you put in, and you want to send that message to the King of Swords. <laughs> Virgo, good luck. <clears throat> good luck, my darling, because uh, that's the king right there. It's not the queen. That's the Nasut, not the Nasut Tet, okay? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you definitely have to utilize everything. The magician would also be ethereal because they have the sword energy, the air energy. So utilize the air energy when talking to this person, when send a lot, and we're sending a message to the king of swords so that you know, that will break the ice. Just come off intellectually. Seven of Wands. Yes, it's a challenge. It is a challenge. Okay, it is a challenge and it's going to be hard. But if you love this person, Virgo, I say go for it, baby. Go for it. You know, <clears throat> love is all that matters in the end. It's all that matters when you love someone and you want to be with that person. We don't have the time right now to be lollygagging around, just sitting there watching the mental conflict because it's going to be a challenge. Everything in life is a challenge, Virgo. Everything. So don't let this challenge hold you back. You go after that one that you love. You go after your lover, okay? Your eight of um, your eight of pentacles. Your stability. Someone who is a good match for you. And if you have already gone after that person, Virgo, then stay there. Even if it's going to be a challenge, stay there. Because you love them. And everything, like I said, is a challenge. Tell me more, my love. Mirror. Okay, Virgo. You're mirroring each other. You both have self-image issues. And relationships reflect your, your, your wounds. Okay, you have introspection. Okay, so you're mirroring each other. So this person also wants to send you a message about what it is that they want to have with you because they've also put in effort but you are also standing in the the uh the position of the king of swords oh Virgo, look at you look at you life is too short <laughs> it's too short if you you have a chance for happiness grab it the phoenix the phoenix a new phase rekindling see our renewal transformation growth changed mind so yeah one of you who is mirroring the other is going to have a changed mind here they're about to work some magic they're about to become a lover and build something firm and solid okay virgo you do the thing you do the thing did you want that card baby why does everybody get keys on the ring? Maybe you wanted the other card. Many options, decisions, and conventional string along, one night stand. Well, perhaps it's a challenge because you only had a one night stand with this person, Virgo. And perhaps uh, they want more and you want more. But both of y'all just see this as a one night stand. And both of you also have many options to choose from. Oh, well, I don't know what to say, Virgo, except if you want love, you're not going to get this type of love that you are seeking for many options. Other people come in your life for other reasons than someone who is stable. People come in your life to utilize you for 
their own game. And once they get what they want, they leave you. Okay? But you want something stable and firm. That's what you want. Someone who will not leave you. Someone who chooses you. This is Harar and Hatat Harar right here. The the uh, magician is Tehutwi. Okay? And this looks like uh, Harar right here as well. It is. He got the same mask on. Okay. So you have to be Harar and you have to be the Hutwi to get your uh to get your lover, okay? <clears throat> I will look up those those deities and their attributes because Harar is a a warrior. He's going to go and he's going to get his lover. He's going to get Hatat Harar Tat. He's <laughs> that is her, that is all him right there. <laughs> she even got his name and her name Harar Tat, right? <laughs> that, that, yeah, he, that's me. That's me all day, okay? So, Harar has Hat Tat Harar Tat on his mind here as well. Oh, and seeing her as the purity. Well, <clears throat> I mean, you don't have to be going after a Hat Tat Harar Tat, but that is the goddess of love, goddess of joy, and uh, just beauty, okay? Okay, you guys, look what I got. This is the Crystal Spirit Oracles. <clears throat> All right, let's get the collective crystal card for the collective for the. Kathy Torres Virgo. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so again, life is just too short to be sitting up here wasting it on. <laughs> Uh, whether you want to, to make a move, if you put forth a lot of effort towards this love, then go and get it, Virgo. Go and get it, okay? That's the one you want. That one, well, then that one is your one. <laughs> we were just talking about uh, Hattat Horoitat, right? That right there is the color of the goddess. <laughs> Because the Hattat Horatat will be an Aquarius. Aqua. <laughs> okay, now I should have read that, but uh, let me zoom. <laughs> Alright, let's see. <clears throat> Attack on rings. Ah, oh, Virgo needs some new rings. Uh, Euclid. Euclid's come out for you as well. Now, how did I get that for? I think I got that for the water signs. That or the air signs. This is number 23. Yeah, 23. Euclid. So, essential meaning. Wisdom from within inner truth aligning with divine intelligence trusting your own earned wisdom ah and the relationship advice states my darling overstanding the people you love and care about isn't always easy especially when you become aware that you will, that you still have much to learn about yourself all of us have hidden gifts we have yet to acknowledge they are easier to discover when you look through the eyes of love guided by an inner wisdom that reminds you that we are all on a healing journey and at different places on the road listen to your intuitive intelligence about your relationships for it is the cause the conscious universe 
and not wishful thinking that will bring truth about other people and about yourself into your awareness. Hmm. Wah weh. Okay. Tayub. That is your reading. <laughs> that is your reading. Uh, Earth signs. I hope you enjoyed it. And I definitely enjoyed reading for you. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The like button. The share button. <laughs> the bell notifier. Because I want you to... To come back and listen to more readings, my love. Okay. Uh, until next time, Earth Signs. Peace, love, and light. Love you guys. Bye bye.